Originally, it was Marvel Studios' Kevin Feige that said Marvel's Eternals will redefine the entire Marvel Universe. Now the director of the film, Chloe Zhao, says the same thing, but she elaborates a little further on what exactly he meant and what she is trying to say and what this film will do. So this came from a direct interview that Chloe Zhao had with Fandango, where they specifically asked her if she could elaborate further on what exactly Kevin Feige meant when he said that the Eternals will redefine the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and how exactly will it do that? Now, she doesn't go into full details because obviously that would be major spoiler territory, but she does say and gives us a kind of idea of what he was teasing. And she says that in this film specifically, we will see the origins of the MCU from the beginning to the mythology that's built on Earth up until modern day to how it's influenced by the Celestials, the creation, the Deviants, Earth's relationship with the entire universe and the cosmos, what humanity means to the bigger picture and grand scope of the entire universe since its inception, and also what exactly do they leave the film off on that sets up the future of the MCU and Earth's place in the grand scheme of the story. So. Again, all you have to do is just look back on what they said since the beginning of this film, since it was announced. It's the ancient astronaut theory. And you look at the fact that they specifically cited books, writings, and pieces of literature from the likes of Eric Von Daniken, for example, who wrote one of the most influential and best-selling books on this subject that made it really prevalent, which of course was Chariot of the Gods. If you haven't read it, I might suggest it, but it's sort of hard reading now, and you're better off just reading more contemporary, modern-day interpretations of it that are a little bit more simplified, but it's out there. If you want to know what they're hinting towards, it's in that book. And I think that when she says you're going to see and discover the origins of the MCU, I think she quite literally means that. Like, the foundation will be established here. Like, everything that's going on that has led us to this point and why... And what do these giant celestials have to do with everything? Now, of course, we can already see that they're taking liberties with the comics, so it's not going to be a direct one-to-one. -one, but you definitely get the sense that the celestials are somewhat going to be in line with what happened with Marvel Comics, where these guys can create light, and they probably seeded humanity over here on Earth. Now, what else did they do, and did they do it elsewhere, and was that received better? I think that's what they're going to explore. Again, that's just me extrapolating from them saying, well, Earth's place in the cosmos and Earth's inhabitants place in the cosmos. That can only, to me at least, mean the grand scheme of things. We're not alone in this universe. We know this, but how important are humans really considering that there's, well, better evolved humans elsewhere out there? Like just like a Xandar, for example, right? I mean... They got their stuff figured out, mostly, up until their favorite Xandar Tuberian is out there screaming about the woke Celestials. They just realized you could scrap them all. 